we are ready to go. And like that, the hall is empty, and now we walk to the start line. <laughs> Here we go again. Okay. Race is on. Started off with a little over a mile there through the woods, and now we're out onto the road. First walking hill of the day. The most, anyway. My two mile marker has just come up, and it's always a little surreal when you realize this race is over 103 miles long. Best not to think about it. Looks like it's going to be a cracker of a day. Wasn't expecting so much sand, although somebody didn't mention it to me, all right. And we've just passed our major, our first major milestone. That's probably about three and a quarter miles. So we now have less than a hundred miles to go. <laughs> shades instead of the sun visor. Many reasons too boring to maintain this video. Ah, that's almost 10 miles in now. I think people are starting to settle into their normal, normal running pace now. Feeling comfortable, nice and slow really. Uh, but yeah, very runnable. Very sandy as well. We're out into a road now, but we're on a long sandy trail before this. Here. Looks like the rest of the world is starting to wake up. First cruise station. Dead oh. Sandy. Yeah, some lovely trails so far. Very runnable, except for the occasional spiky hill. And yes, these hills don't look spiky on GoPro. I get that. Trust me, they're a bit spiky. <laughs> I remember this church from 30 something Mike's YouTube video. Can't remember what it's called, mind you, but I remember seeing it. And away we go again. Oh, very nice soft descent down from the church. Stop for yet another pee, peeing like a stallion. Maybe I'm overhydrating, but sipping away. Well, I am on my own at the moment, so gotta keep an eye out for these pink marks. I nearly took a wrong turn there a little while ago. So, eyes wide. But there's a runner up here ahead of me, so hopefully he'll guide the way. But I've made a mistake of following runners down the wrong path as well, so. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> ah, second aid station. What's your yeah. tail wind? Uh, just water for now, water. thanks. Might take something off the table as well. 
Thanks, Andrew. Thank you very much. Yeah, well done. Where are we going now? Over here. Over All right. Yeah. All right. Let's get going. These are lonely miles. Been on my own all alone again for the last four or five miles thankfully the signage is very good i haven't turned on the maps yet on my watch because i know it just draws a little more battery and i've got a feeling when my watch dies i have a battery pack in the halfway point but my watch is so temperamental to charge if it's playing silly beggars i'm likely to just let it do its thing and die see what i mean good signage that's what you want. Oh, oh, oh there's two runners. Ah, okay. Ah, a lot of the scenery is just kind of high on a hill over here, looking down over the rolling meadows. Very nice. Once you get out of the woods, actually, a lot of it was in shade. We're at about five to nine now, so that's three hours in. I would say still relatively cool. Certainly not any feeling of heat burning my body at this stage we're about 20 miles into this race now this race has only just begun now i just got to do that five more times and then run a 5k sounds easy when you put it like that right oh hold on i think i said i had to do it five more times i've only got to do it four more times hey, hey. oh let those endorphins go <laughs> 21 miles in I think this is another cruise station or else just a lot of people admiring the view all right third aid station Again, stuck with the water for now. See salty potatoes. I think that'll do it. On and on and on we go. Running with Daniel there, his first hundred miler. Seems to be fairly strong. I guess this is the famous box hill. What are we, about 25 miles, I think, give or take, into the race, uh, almost one quarter, another milestone, I'll take it, we celebrate the small wins around here, kind of feels like they're making us do hill repeats around Box Hill, you come down one bit, then it's immediately turn around, come up another bit, turn around, come down some steps, turn around, <laughs> just threw on my navigation, for the first time there, signage was a little bit sparse. Sometimes there's no sign when you want one, and 10 signs when you've nowhere else you could possibly go. But overall, signage is very good. Ooh, this is a doozy of a hill. Again, probably hard to make out, but I take back what I said about a flat 100 miler. Just a couple of spiky bits here and there to remind you, it's not all that flat. Ah yeah, my watch just clicked for 30 miles. So that is just uh, 5 to 11 now, so 4 hours in, 30 miles. I don't know what the maths mean to me, but we're ahead of schedule. Still a long, long way to go. We'll celebrate again at 34 miles, that'll be one third of the way in. Okay, just came to another aid station there. Stomach is still behaving, so I decided to have a few different bits and pieces. They had goo gels for the first time, so I grabbed two of them just to top up my stash. Had a little bit of a sandwich, a few berries, a little bit of pineapple for the juiciness. Ah, oh, bang on 11.30 now. What's that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five and a half hours in. Isn't it funny how adults still count with their fingers? All right, you didn't see that though, so it didn't happen. North Lodge. Royal Alexandria and Albert School. Sounds rather posh, doesn't it? P 
helping with the ecclesiastical team another church an old name would be nice maybe I'll put the name on the screen maybe ah, another another cruise stop here it's interesting that the cruise stops are in different places than the aid stations so if you were crewed I think guys you could be getting aid every three or four miles Echo! Oh, oh. It's part of our celebration because I missed the 34 mile mark. We're over 35 now. So, woohoo! A third of the way through the race. Another celebration, another release of endorphins, another bleeding hill. Oh, he's moving. <laughs> Hit 38 miles, and here's another aid station. My water has run dry. I'm a little dehydrated, so I think I'm gonna take a soft flask of water, drink it, and then top up. I gotta say, there are lovely trails and all that. But it's all a little bit sameish. It doesn't make for great YouTube video, you know? I'm trying to find something, something of interest to show you. I haven't seen a church for a long time. Uh, what else have we got? Have I shown you this trail? Nice, eh? Uh, yeah, well, there's that wide open view again. Now surely this looks like a hill. Come on. Dropped right down into that valley now. There's a bit of steep ground there for a little while. But now it looks like we're climbing again. Maybe that week in the Alps wasn't such a bad idea after all. Just got my picture taken by one of the photographers. He's like a sniper in the long grass, popping up, snap, down again. <laughs> quite funny. And there was a woman, she was quite witty. She was looking at me. I asked her, did she fancy joining in? She says, no, 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 I'm finished already. I've showered. What's taking you so long? <laughs> it was fast. <laughs> well done. I told her she's making me look like a rookie. Oh, very sparse of signage there. And there was a few options you could go couple of different ways. Ah, have I shown you this view yet? All right, only about four miles, not even, to Knockholt Pound. The halfway, well, it's not quite halfway, but close enough. These gates are to the North Downs way. What styles are to the Kerry way? Well, they're a bit easier to navigate though. Oh man, most interesting thing I've seen in 20 miles and I didn't catch it on GoPro. So it wasn't that interesting, but there was a group of cows blocking the trail for quite a bit. Well, I don't say quite a bit, maybe 50 meters, but they were all right on it. Lucky my uh, agricultural background gave me the confidence to navigate my own way through that group. <laughs> All right, let's not take a wrong turn now. All right. Is this right? Yes, this is right. All right, more cows coming up. I'm not going to let these ones slip me by. Check out the cows, guys. Check out the cows. Ah, so my plan is to spend a reasonable amount of time in Knockhold Pound, the aid station that I'm coming up to now. I don't want to give up too much time, but I'm not even halfway through this race yet, so I want to make sure I set myself up for success in the second half. You know, change my shoes and socks, change my t-shirt, a uh, little bit of a wipe down, I've got some baby wipes. Uh, what else? Check the feet, if there's any maintenance required, 
I'm going to put on my uh, trashed pair of Cape Rat uh, Hoka speed goats, which are a little bigger than these shoes, about half size up, which I think my toes will appreciate. Uh, what else? I'm going to try and put a bit of charge into my watch. Just first, so I'll do that first so that that can be do happening because I don't think I'm going to take the charger with me or try and have the, char the watch charging in my bag. So whatever I can get, that's it. It will die at some stage, but we'll deal with that. As I say, the signage has been pretty good. Uh, just a little bit worried once it gets dark, but as I say, so far so good. Check back in in the aid station. Time. 8.38 Glad to be here ah. 8.38 I do have a drop bag please, thank you Super, thank you Cheers, thank you very much Where am I going? Alright, Super Alright Hello everybody Thank you, and my bag is right Alright Super, super, all right. All quiet at the moment. I'm sure it's going to get a lot busier. <laughs> okay, we're back on the road. Did pretty much everything that I said I was going to do in that aid station. Feet looked to be in pretty good shape and I had put some KT tape across the base of them and that was still in place. So I was happy about that. So uh, yeah, I didn't do anything, get my wipe down and uh, changed my shoes and socks. Uh, what else? Yeah, I made one error in that I asked them for four gels, goo gels, thinking that I can just use their gels now to hop along and then I shoved all my food and gels into my pocket anyway so I'm probably carrying a bit more than I would like to but if that's the worst thing I did that's not the end of the world ah. all right so and we're officially over the halfway point so that's another celebration hey -ho! we've passed the halfway mark hallelujah 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 one pucker pull up I know, I know. Don't give up the day job, right? We're almost celebrating. Are we going the right way? No, it's not looking good, is it? Garg, I missed something. I missed something in my celebration. There's some trash here, but it looks like McDonald's. I don't think any of our crew stopped off for a, a Mickey D's. Let me have one more look at this gate. We're not missing a sign here, are we? No. All right, we've got to come back up to here to see what that last sign said. All right, back on track. We're going to have to cut out the celebrating, guys. It's costing me here. I was going across the top of the field and I needed to come down this side of the field. But it didn't cost me too much. But good lesson in if you're unsure, retrace your steps. It wasn't too far back to the Centurion sign and when you stood there and looked around a bit more closely, saw one of the ribbons. Problem is, the ribbons are kind of hanging, but if they catch a gust of wind, they can kind of get pushed in against the bushes and be obscured, but... Okay. Yeah, a little bit worried now about the navigation at night. Put my watch... Oh! My watch has decided to unfreeze. Do you think there might be a bit of money in this house, lads? No, I'm not liking this either. Must have missed the turn. Dang it. There. Yeah. Oh. In here. Garg. I saw that and I went straight up. I didn't see this here. I saw the farmyard. Alright. Well, there we go. Back on track. A little bit more costly that time. Yeah. Tonight's going to be interesting. And my Garmin has just come alive to tell me I'm on course. No sh Garmin. Oh. I know the GoPro doesn't really notice uphills, does it notice downhills? This is steep downhill. 
pods are loving this. Oh, oh, oh. oh. My watch just chimed for 61 miles. My aid station was supposed to be at 60 miles, but obviously I'm adding more time on for my, uh, what would I say, mistakes. Uh, it's not unfortunate that my watch would die. I'd be interested to know what my final distance will be. I think we can be confident already. We're up to about 105 miles. Ah, uh, well, maybe a little under. All right, but by the time we finish, who knows? All right, hitting this aid station at 61.5. Ready for it, out of water. So, need to rehydrate. Oh, that was a very welcome aid station. They had ice as well, so, oh, I just got ice on my face and on my legs and just cooled myself down because I've definitely gotten warm. Got some iced coffee as well. Oh, the stomach is starting to play up now, which is later than I might have anticipated, so that's good. But we'll see now what happens from here on in. Oh, only about 5.6 miles, I think, to the next aid station. I think we're going to have to work for the rest of this race now. Well, the iced coffee, oh, yes. I saw the iced coffee just came back up. Oh, that's, Whew. Okay. Body maintenance required from here on in. <clears throat> so a bit after you've had a few too many drinks and you get sick and feel better I think it was just a reaction to the cold liquid going down that it kicked it back out so I'm not feeling too bad now since oh another punchy hill so I'm going to try and stick with the the gels and water. Jason Coop, the well-known ultra running coach, has a saying, keep your fuel in your pocket and your hydration in your bottle. So, uh, which essentially means he's against these <coughs> tailwinds and different nutrition drinks that he would say claim to also hydrate you. And certainly, using the water today with the bars and gels and really staying away from the tailwind for the most part I think is a pretty good strategy. Just past the retreat back there. Seems to be all kinds of areas they can go and nice benches they can sit on. Relax, unwind in the stressful world in which we live. Could do with a bit of that myself right now. This must be the bread basket of the UK. I'm at about 67 miles now. Oh yeah, we passed our two-thirds finish. Two-thirds of the race. But we couldn't celebrate. Boss said since we messed up the last one. No more celebrations. Spoil sport. More steps. Maybe I'm getting it now. Just too many steps. But like, the alternative is just a steep climb. Is that any better? Oh, but yes, they're not enjoyable, I guess. I get it, I get it. All right, next aid station. This gel I cannot finish. Stomach says no. It's gone straight in the bin. Sorry, where are we going? Down the road, 300 yards, turn right. On the back, guys. Okay. Uh -huh. 
No, my stomach is proper packed in now. Couldn't really stomach anything in that end station. I just get a little bit of fruit down, but not a lot, and not a lot of calories, but I keep chunking away. Long way to the next aid station, apparently about 11 miles, so. What, what can you do but keep putting one step in front of the other? Boom, 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 boom. <sighs> Running hasn't been too bad the last couple of miles. Happy with it. I haven't put anything in my stomach though, so I'm going to have to try and get something down at some stage. I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at on the roof of that building over there. Oh, we're going over that bridge. So much running. So very much running. Hutch is now dead. It survived far longer than I thought it was going to. I did turn off the Bluetooth. I went to GPS only on the uh, satellites and wow. God, I think nearly 14 hours there. Normally it dies after about nine with the other stuff on, so. Whoa. That's it. No watch now. Oh, lads. Haven't managed to take any food in for hours now, so. Yeah. Still moving, though. Still moving. All right, this is runnable. James ain't so far away. Oh, we're at about 72 miles now. Ah, oh, I think whatever energy was in the cells is now gone. We're in fat burning mode. Which at the moment means we're in walking mode. About two miles from the next aid station, I believe. Oh, whoo. Alright. One foot in front of the other. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, walking for the last few miles now. Just gotta get to the 8th station and kind of recalibrate. Gotta get some calories in. That's the key, so I may have to sit down for a while and just see what I can do. Ah, oh, I called Claire there though for a pick me up, and she picked me up. And that was nice. <laughs> oh, dry reaching there. But of course, I haven't eaten in hours, so nothing to come up. Whew. The tummy is definitely dicky. Oh, but it's about a quarter of a mile, or maybe half a mile to the aid station. I'm gonna sit down there and see if I can three baseline. Whew. Oh. I actually would have thought I'd be caught by somebody by now. It's about the last five or six miles I've been walking. All right, aid station in sight. Time to go to work in a different kind of way. All right, before the last of the light fades and the footage turns to crap. So I'll give you a quick update on the last aid station. Couldn't really stomach the Pepsi, but she's given me a ginger cordial, which obviously is supposed to settle the stomach, and I'm able to sip away at that, so that's what I'm doing. I've got some tailwind as well. Sorry, Coop. I uh, put on my uh, spare layer as well. I've got cold sitting around, but I'm already warming up now again, so need to stop and take it off all right into the darkness we go the head torch will be going on very shortly but i'm running again oh, more steps 
seems to be getting harder for some reason. Okay, I know you can't see anything as usual, but I wanted to give you a quick update. Managed to hang with a guy until that last check point there, Detling, where I had my drop bag. Oh, but I was struggling every step. Got in, tried to have one small piece of banana. Made my way straight to the bathroom. Retching, retching, retching. And a small bit of banana came up, but nothing else. But, whoa, stomach is in ribbons. 22 miles to go. Oh, I did manage to have a few grapes. <laughs> See if they'll carry me nine miles to the next aid station. Goodness. Oh, but I'm carrying tailwind and everything, but stomach just won't stomach it. Some more steps. At least these ones are going down. Every down, there's enough. Yarg! Wandering around the field trying to find where to go there for a while. Rang Claire in case she could help me, but just as I got through to her, my wanderings highlighted a reflective badge off in the distance. So we're back on track. Oh, goodness, okay. Okay, quick update. Just through the 91 mile aid station. Watermelon had been working for me, but I um, tried some watermelon sitting in a deck chair with all the crew there. And bleh, of course, it was the only thing they'd gone in, so. Oh, oh. But on the upside, I did manage to eat a couple of jelly babies. So there's about five jelly babies gone in. That's something, that's progress. I managed to drink a little bit of flat coke. Not a lot, but more calories gone in, so that's progress. Ah, oh, it's starting to be past now though. Understandable how it come this far and so little I don't really understand. I must have gone into fat burning mode. Final push, about three miles to go. Oh tough. Oh, so tough. Just having nothing in the tank. Not being able to take any of my fluids or my gels or my bars or anything else at the aid stations. Disaster. But here we are. We'll finish it in about, I don't know, maybe a little under 22 hours, which is pretty impressive since my goal finish was, whoops, what am I doing? Since my goal, uh, goal finish time was creeping it in under 20. Oh. All right, last final push. Looks like we're about to enter the track, guys. Ho, 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 oh, lads. That was a long road section. And here comes 400 meters. Finish this thing off. Put a fork in it. It's done. That was a tough day at the office, guys, I don't mind telling you. Hooey! It feels great to have it done. Oh, I love dead showers, but I've got my baby wipes. That'll be my shower. Ah, oh, time to chill out. Hallelujah. Quick look behind, make sure I'm not being chased. Oh, that's safety under 22. I'll take that for the day I had. 50 miles of horrendous stomach issues. Oh, oh lads. That was a tough day at the office. Ah, how you doing? Stephen, yeah. Oh, hooey. Put a fork in it, it's done.